Hey guys, it's Jared Lindner here. I'm here with Captain Benny. Uh, we're doing something a little different. Um, we're actually bass fishing, but we're down here off Long Beach, Huntington Long Beach area. Yeah, we're coming out of Huntington Harbor right now. Yeah, so we're gonna target calico bass. Sand bass. Sand bass, water yeah. rouse bites. Exactly, yeah. Crank, crank baits, jerk baits, hay rigs. Spinner baits. I mean, all, all kinds of different stuff, you know, and he's a fellow AFCO member. And this is kind of where it all came together with AFCO testing their shorts and the sun shirts. And obviously you got the rain gear on. Yep. Um, you know, and, and what I found is that there's a huge crossover into bass fishing, largemouth bass fishing. And I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I've lived on the coast pretty much my whole life. Never, never even done this before. So I, I'm gonna learn a lot and it'd be fun to do. I think the anglers will really enjoy it. How, how uh, close our saltwater bass fishing is to, you know, lake fishing. We're going to find out. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah, so what we're doing right now, Jared, is just throwing these uh, jerk baits up along this riprap here. You see how he got the wash. And these fish will hang out along this edge. And they're just going to come up and ambush baits coming off this edge and then go right back in their, in their holes there. Uh, so we're going to try to fish these jerk baits and try to locate a few. If we don't get bit here in a few, we'll go to uh, medium diving crankbaits get down that water column. So you're saying jerk bait, which this bait right here is the new jackal deal? This is the, the new Relay jackal 130, 130, right. So I'd throw that at like Toledo Band, even Clear Lake, stuff like that, but we're not jerking. No. We're, we're just winding. Exactly. What we're doing is trying to get that same action of jerking by winding and really just, uh, you know, putting some speed into it, get that bait really moving quick and then killing it, pausing it probably for a split second or so. So and it's that's like usually, a reaction, exactly. total reaction that's, bite. That's exactly what we're trying to do, is get a reaction bite. Low and, oh, there's one. Oh, there you go. Bit of just like a bass. Yeah, right? I on mean, the pause? Yeah, on the pause, yeah. Good deal. You smoked it. What do we got? Calico? Calico bass, targeted species. Targeted species. Targeted species, yeah. All right, so what do we do? We can't okay. grab them by So the... yeah, let me, let me show you what you got going on with that. Okay. So on this, get my sea leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No pliers. So no, you can put. I can use pliers, but so, so right here. See that right there? Yeah. Sharp, yeah. sharp. And then we'll take these out. But I mean, it's pretty. Like if that was green, it'd look like a largemouth. Exactly. Kinda. Right. And, and that's then good to eat. But these are really good go. to eat. Yeah. See, they got the teeth here. Feel it. You can feel the teeth on those. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you'd lip them the same but way. But I mean, they're not, they're not gonna cut you up. No, no. They just give you a pretty good bass thumb, so. That's cool, man. Yeah. And this little dude, it's not about a pound fish, but he hit like he was yeah, a I mean, ton of break. Cool. Yeah, you yeah. Know, on the paws, just like you said. Right, yeah, it'll be just like just like a largemouth on the paws. There you go. Jared's Wait. crankfish, there you go. First calico, calico crankfish. There you, there you go, get on the board. You get the release here. There you go, right back to hold, good job. Targeted species, I like that. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dino Cicado. I am a designer for AFCO. I'm here with Abe Bersiaga, lead technical designer. Uh, this is our solitude jacket. Um, this is our first technical outerwear piece. It's a $99 price point. It's a two and a half layer, and it's real simple, clean styling. Uh, comes with a hood and cinches, and it's that first layer that you put on when it gets a little rainy for a while and you just need something to protect you. So a couple of key features on this jacket, uh, it's got articulated sleeves, um, slightly longer sleeve length so when you're casting overhand uh, you're not too exposed on your wrists. Um, fully taped seams on all major seams, especially your shoulder sides, uh, hood. It's a two and a half layer printed membrane, fully waterproof, reflective logos, super packable, lightweight, you can roll it up, put it in your backpack. Uh, and stash it away when you don't need it. And I see this is the first time I've fished with these cranks. Brand new, right? I guess, they right. came out. I yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to field test these things about a year ago, and I tell you, for salt water, this is like the bread and butter. This 300 trank, 65-pound right. uh, Power Pro, I mean, just money. On I, a, I can see fishing, you know, like big, big swim baits like we do, you yep. know, and maybe a, a you know, a rig or even a big, big crankbait, something yep. like that. I mean, that, I, Deep, I wouldn't mind using it. Right. It, it really does eliminate the stress of, you know, maybe a smaller 200 size reel, because uh, we use that application in, in certain areas, fishing those deep, deep 
20, 25 pound, uh, depth uh, crankbait. This is a 300 uh, standard series. And, and then, then the, there's the uh, high speed or the uh, high gear. And that's right. got the single handle? That's got the single power handle. There's one. Oh, dude, get him. Dude, I ripped it out that of that. better one, huh? Oh, look at that one. Hang on, hang on. I'll help you out with that. Oh. Ripped it out of that kelp, dude. He's freaking, freaking. Oh, 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 that was a nice one. That was about three pounder there. Farmer, <laughs> man. Same thing happens in bass. Yeah, it happens. You know? Where's the net? <laughs> Where's the net guy at? The AFCO gap. <laughs> Something. God. That one smashed it right out of the camera. Dude, cow. I mean, I ripped it out and it just goes, Poof! Yeah. And that's the same deal, you know? You want to get stuck in that stuff just like, uh, you know, in the grass or yeah. something where you rip it out and pause it's it. like a rattle trap by the clear Exactly, line. exactly. Poof! Yeah. So that was, that was uh, way legal there. Oh, what is illegal? 14 inches. 14? Yeah, 14. Okay, so, you know, Jared, you caught a, a handful fun. of fish, you know, on the crankbait. That was fun, dude. And, you know, we're going to leave this area, work our way, go up, fish the kelp up in Palos Verdes, and fish a little bit different pattern. So grass. For some grass or kelp. Punching, frogging. Well, we're going to be fishing on top, <laughs> and we may, hey, we may, we may flip. I like that. <laughs> I know you like to flip. Let's roll. All right, so we're going to get out of here. All right, hang on. All right, man, so we came up here to this kelp deal, throwing a swimmer. Right. And I noticed, man, I mean, the deal was is this morning, you know, with that rough erosion and stuff, you know, I had this, I, I kind of use it as a wind jacket, you know, keep the spray and sure. wind off me, the solitude jacket. Yep. But now, it's kind of flat. It kind Getting of nicer, good. right? Yeah. The problem is, is I tried to be like you. Oh, look at you. So we hey. got the same jacket on. Right. Right. You know, the fleece deal keeps you yeah. nice and warm. It's a great layering piece. Yeah. Water resistant, micro fleece, and you know, you could keep it to keep the wind off you or mm -hmm. keep you dry if it's misty yep. outside. And you know, you could team it up with one of the uh, technical shirts underneath. Right. right. You know, well, yeah, bad. you know, back east, you know, sometimes you get those real cold mornings and right. stuff, you know, on a boat ride, and, yep. but you don't want to have a big, big heavy jacket on. Or, yep you know, your heavy duty rain gear. So you slip this on and cuts the wing and doesn't go through the jacket. Yeah, it's nice too. Like. You, know, you know, in the morning you got overcast, you can stash your glasses in the front chest pocket here and zippers keep them sealed and it's great. Good to go. Yep, good to go. Why don't we catch any fish? Let's try to catch one. Let's try to catch that one you missed right there next to the boat. It wasn't my fault. Bad guide. <laughs> <laughs> I put you on them, you just gotta catch them. Well, you didn't tell me they're going to eat me with six inches of line out. <laughs> Maybe that rod's too long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ten footer. Ten nine footer. 911 <laughs> Shimano X Pride pro prototype there rod. There you man. go. God, so that dude came up and ate it, though. Yeah, he smoked it right here. But now we're off of our stuff. Yeah, see, now I got to get back on that leading. You got to get back in the grass. That's right. Hydrilla. Right. Let's get back on that. <laughs> Saltwater Hydrilla. <laughs> Yeah, they're definitely up here chasing. Oh, right there! See that swirl? Oh yeah. my god! What is the deal? <laughs> I'm gonna start jerking. Look at it, ate my tail. Dude, kind of biting. Yes. Another one come up on it? Yeah. Not committing. Wrong color. Wrong color. Here, put this one on. If they're nipping or something. Yep. I'll switch up a color, something yeah. different. That same looks thing. more more like what they're eating there. So the same thing with bass fishing. Yep. They're not committing to it, change color. Yep. If they're just hitting it just to react and not eating it, because they're definitely up chasing bait, so. How big of a frog do you have? Uh, no frogs on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Be cool if you did. Yes, sir. Oh, oh right there. there go. Little guy. Swimmer. One of those brown things. Nice little calico bass. Oh, 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 oh. Right you there. See that? Yeah, right there. So, you're telling me 
because I I missed three so far. Mm -hmm. You're telling me not to jerk, but this is just like throwing a you know a rhythm wave or a big swim bait at clear like a weedless one. My natural in instinct is to jerk. Why are you telling me not to jerk? Because a lot of times they come up and suck it in, right? Okay. And they're swimming right at you with it. Okay. So they got it. But they got it, but they don't have it clamped down. They just have it down down the mouth. They haven't got all the way in the gullet yet. So when you jerk, they feel that resistance, they just open up and they blow it out. Yeah. And right cool. now, they're just reacting to it. They're just coming up and hitting it, but they're not committing. You see how they're yeah. coming up and boiling yeah, like on it? blowing it up. Yep, yep. Wow. So we just got to find the, the, the bites so that... don't jerk. Don't jerk. Wine, wine, wine. Uh, that's too hard. There was one. Yeah. You had a biter? Dude, you didn't. I'm going to start jerking. All right. <laughs> You're like, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Finally, I didn't jerk, Benny. Oh, good, good deal. Giant? No. Biter. Look at that. Biter. Smallest one of the day. <laughs> barely got him. Look at that. Look at that, man. Barely, barely. 5.8 bait, 6.0 bass. Oh. Swing, swing, swing. <laughs> You're a dingling. <laughs> oh, eat it. look at the barracuda right here. Look at them all. Oh, oh no. Baron. Baron Bond Barracuda. Barracuda. We don't want those stinky things. You don't like those. Check, check, check. Oh, God. Right Good there. <laughs> that was crazy. I made like a little pitch out there. Nice. He came right out of the kelp and got him. Look at that one. That's... Dude, pitching crankbaits into the kelp. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, we're back to where we kind of started because we went up, I guess, what is that, north, uh, Benny? Yeah, we went north, uh, northern Palos Verde. And uh, caught some fish. Missed a lot more than we caught. They were like, I guess because you know, that storm that we had blew, you know, some cold water in. Yep. And... Yeah, it didn't affect the water so, here too much. Oh, shoot, fighter. God darn. I wanted to catch some bass. So now we're back to catching bass. So we're gonna try maybe some swim baits. He's throwing a umbrella rig. Let's try to get some more of those guys. All right, we're back at the house. Successful day one, in my opinion. You know, I caught my first calico bass on a crankbait, swim bait. What still is kind of shocking to me is how similar largemouth bass, smallmouth bass fishing is to the calico bass fishing. You know, going out there this morning, it was kind of nasty, you know? I mean, everybody thinks we're in Southern California, yeah. shorts, <laughs> flip-flops, you know, visors, and it wasn't that way, and it's a good thing we had some good gear. Absolutely, you know, you had your um, solitude on, and, and uh, you know, we had the fleece, Fleece underneath, keep us warm and dry. Good and layered. And la good and layered. I only um, got to wear my sun shirt one time today and it kind of aggravated me because I'm, I'm a shorts, you know, the AFCO stealth shorts and sun shirts and like I said, visor flip flops. So are we going to get to do that tomorrow or? Hey, the forecast says we're going to Catalina and the sun's supposed to be out. So um, that's that's a program I'm on for tomorrow. So hopefully, oh. hopefully we can find some pattern that wants a bite and we might be able to get a nice yellowtail, um, a couple nice calico bass. Sea bass maybe? 
possibility. You never know out here, I guess. I mean, maybe even a shark. I don't yeah. know. You, you know. Hey, we got a 20 plus pound halibut today on a crankbait. You yeah, that's that? true. Yeah, after we were done filming. Yeah. <laughs> but we're going to eat good tonight, though. Yeah, absolutely. You show us how to clean it. Yes, sir. But uh, no, so we're going to run out to Catalina Island. We're going to do that yep. and hopefully be in shorts and sun shirts and having a great day and catch a lot of fish. Um, all the gear we use today is available right now at Tackle Warehouse. We got the Tranks reels, uh, the crankbaits we're using, the jerk baits, the new Jackal re range <laughs> jerk bait, um, swim bait, even the war bait head. Yep. You know, that's a local thing down here, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a staple for our saltwater fishing along yep. with the uh, war bait uh, um, yep. spinner bait. Yep, yep. And of course, we got the AFCO gear. We do. So, uh, Make sure to check it all out at Tackle Warehouse, and we'll check back in with you next week. Just remember to like, share, and tag a friend for your chance to win some of this great AFCO gear featured in this week's vlog.